had any contact uh, with them. Not here. Michael charged with uh, manslaughter. State, would you agree count two is not a real crime? Um, count two is the enhancement crime, which makes the manslaughter a first degree felony. So the, I think the logic potentially of this one is the possession of the weapon while in possession of drugs. I think that might be the logic. Well, I mean, another charge is possession, uh, uh, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Yeah, I was only asking for 5,000 on the on the count two anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, right now I don't know if there's PC for it. But well, there's probable cause for possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Yeah. I'll find probable cause for possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. But the way that that, that statute makes the right. count one increase, but it is not subject to 1020 life, which I did the right. research this morning. No, it's not, because it's not intentional. Uh, so Judge Heap, prior history, he's got a DUI in 2014, 01, he had a possession of marijuana over 20, 2000, he had a reckless, 93, he had a DUI, 92, he had a possession of marijuana less than. We were asking for no contact with the victim's family, 250,000 on count one and 5,000 on count two, and no firearms. Um, I believe Mr. Hooter does have private attorney, so we did not interview him this morning, but I know that he resides in Wellborn, Florida. Um, I would ask that you set a reasonable bond. Where is that? Wellborn. He was arrested in Jacksonville, so I yeah, don't I saw know. that. Well, the zip code is 32094, yeah, so it's know, definitely north. It is. All right, I do... F for now, the Public Defender's Office is appointed in abundance of caution. We waited till after 10 o'clock. Nobody has shown up. I do find probable cause in count one for the manslaughter. I do find the defendant, based on the four corners of the probable cause affidavit, is in fact a flight risk. I think the state's request for $250,000 bond is more than reasonable. And count two will be $5,000. No firearms. No, no weapons, no firearms, no contact with the family of the decedent. No. 